What's up guys, welcome back to Big Body and Bach. Today I'm going to be reacting to My Hero Season 5, Episode 14. So last week's episode we got left, or which I should say we started off with the biggest tease. We saw Shigaraki looks like standing in like a wasteland. Uh, I believe it was Deka City. And I have no idea what happened. My guess is that Shigaraki did something pretty epic and he leveled the city because he was just laughing maniacally right there. So... I really hope we find out what happened there this season and it's just not like a tease that carries over to the next season because they even said uh, in last week's episode that it was just as bad or what maybe even worse in Kamino Ward. That's where um, All Might fought All for One. So whatever happened there must have been pretty crazy and I just want to find out what it is. Um, but yeah, that was only like the first 30 seconds. The rest of the episode was more chill, kind of laid back, kind of think kind of like setting up the second half of season five. Looks like the rest of the squad is going to do their internships again and try to improve, similar to like the beginning of Season 4 and the second half of Season 2. Um, so, yeah, we ended the episode with um, Bakugo and Deku getting the invitation to join Shoto and work for Endeavor's agency. So that's going to be epic. I mean, I've been saying this the past couple reactions. They're the new Big 3 to me. They're going to take the place of the current Big 3 in two years when they're all like seniors and upperclassmen. And this is just building that and towards that. I can't wait to see them work together with Endeavor. I mean, Deku's getting training from All Might and Endeavor now. I mean, he couldn't have asked for anything. Like, if from where he started and, like, when you think about it, he could never have dreamt in his wildest dreams that he'd be, at this point, getting training from All Might, Endeavor, Gran Torino, having, being able to use multiple quirks. Like, from where we started, Deku is just on a whole another level. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see where we go with this episode, so let's get into it. Are we getting another flashback? Oh, Hawks, okay. What are we seeing more of Hawks undercover? Is that Dobby? It is Dobby. Dude, look at all this spy shit, man. I don't know, dude. The person undercover always gets burned. No pun intended. <laughs> the anti-establishment cause. What is that? Oh, I thought Best Genius was missing. Was this before he went missing? Damn, All For One must have fucked him up bad. Yo, he has no lung? Or one of his lungs? What? What is Hawks doing? Yo. What the fuck was that? Yo, is he the reason that Best Genus is missing? What's in the bag, Hawks? What the fuck, man? Is this a play? Bro. Okay, new intro hype. Let's see how this is. Alright, it's okay. Not too bad. Who are these people? Oh, this is like the last chill moment before we get into the action? New Year's Eve? Damn, his mom still can't take it. I mean, I feel for her. Her only son is literally tearing himself apart. Oh, is that the letter she wrote? Let's see. Aww. Look at all this wholesome stuff, man. Yo, like I was saying in the intro, man. Deku has come so far. Well, I should say Midoriya. Wait a second, wait. Yo, that's slip and slide? 
from a couple episodes ago. That, uh, well, that, the support hero guy. Wait, so he's evil? Yo. What? Yo, they got this man on 24-7. Bro. They really don't trust Hawks. I mean, they shouldn't, but... Damn, they got microchips in him. Damn, we didn't get to see his face. <laughs> Endeavor doesn't want to help these boys, just Shoto. Yo, Bakugo and Endeavor are kind of alike, man. I wonder how they're gonna clash. Yeah, look at that. Bakugo and I like that. Ah, so only Black Whip has manifested. I wonder if the other quirks are gonna work, uh, like how he manifested Black Whip, like in moments of need. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're like similar personalities. Oh, yo, we're moving, alright. Yo, let's go. They could keep up with you. Bubbles? What? Who oh, this Aladdin head ass? Was it instinct? Damn, <laughs> bro, Endeavor must spend a ton on money on clothes. Was he glass man or something? Ah, oh, he is, okay. Alright, there we go. Yo, the flash fire fist. You gotta teach that to Shoto. Damn, don't go running now, boy. Yo, this reminds me of that Spider-Man 3 scene. Oh, let's go! So please, that's not gonna do anything. Yeah. Oh, damn, alright. Yo, everybody pulling up. Bro, that villain was trash. Fodder. Are you talking about Endeavor? That might have been Endeavor before, but he's trying to change now. The new number one. <laughs> Deku's gonna do the thing where he talks too much? Uh, <laughs> Meta Liberation War. The heck is this? Interesting. Oh, this is some sort of message. Yes, highlighted certain parts. 100% a message. Destro. Is that one of the villains that we're going to be fighting this season? That's a smart by Hawks, man. Even though it looks like he's being watched, he could just pretend like he's reading a book. What? Yo, you just had three more copies on you? What? Convenient. Oh, come on, Endeavor. I mean, he couldn't be any more obvious without just telling it to you. Oh, these uh, Endeavor agency people? Of course, they're all going to be fire. Yeah, 
Damn, that was pretty tame for Bakugo. I expected him to say something like aggressive. Come on, Endeavor. Use your brain. Big brain time. Damn, are they gonna translate the message for us? No, I can't read Japanese! Bro, I have no idea what any of this says. Oh, oh okay, here we go. The enemy is... Liberation. Damn, there are a number of heroes part of the Liberation? How far does it go? Damn, Hawks looks tired. <laughs> Look at the way he's flying. The Liberation Army. Hundred thousand? Yo! What? Wait, in four months what? To action. Yo! Yo! Are we about to get an epic battle? Chills. Yo. Oh no, it's gonna end, isn't it? Damn it. Ah. New outro though. Alright guys, it looks like we got this set up for the next epic fight in My Hero. Looks like in four months, the Liberation Army is gonna take action. I don't know what that means, what's their plan, or what's going on there, but... Hawks left Endeavor with that message at the end there, so he's giving them four months to prepare for whatever's coming, so it looks like all this training that all the students are going to do with all their internships is going to prepare them for this epic battle in four months, so Endeavor's going to have to train up Bakugo, Shoto, and Deku, that's probably what he's going to be doing, and I can't wait, he's probably going to give them like all specialized training to prepare for what's about to come, but like what is a Liberation Army anyway? Like it looks like there's this big army, I mean in the message it said they're over a hundred thousand so where are all these people coming from how did they get all these people it even mentioned that there's some heroes that are part of this army so how far does that go what heroes are a part of it are any of the top heroes a part of it and if they are why are they a part of it like what what is going on is it all based around what that meta meta liberation book which said that uh you give people certain freedoms and you exclude other people from it then you're gonna cause a divide so to speak so I wonder if that's what they're preaching and then other people feel the same way like why why is there so many people why haven't we ever even heard of this group until now like have they been in the shadows have they been working the whole time or is this group also working for all for one like uh, I know all for one in prison he hasn't seemed nervous he seemed kind of relaxed almost grinning all the time like he has a plan so is like what's gonna happen in four months they're gonna try to break him out of prison is this like another faction of all for one similar to the thing we saw at the end of season four we saw that big um big thing fight gran torino and those police officers is this uh liberation army another faction like that uh also where's the league of villains i just have so many questions right now just for trying to process what just happened in my head like what is a liberation army is it connected to All For One? Where are Shigaraki and the League of Villains and what do they want to accomplish in four months? Like, that's what I'm really thinking about right now. And why are they waiting four months? Like, why don't they just do it now? They're obviously waiting for something. So there's like this timeline that we'll probably find out as the season progresses, but this is definitely looks like what they're setting up for the rest of the season. Um, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> really excited to see kind of where they go from here because it finally looks like things are getting more juicier and kind of it itching toward more of the story from like the first half was obviously more class stuff and uh, trying to grow as students and just doing normal school stuff now it looks like we're getting back into the villain stuff so i'm hyped this is like what i really like about my heroes when they get into like some crazy action with the villains so um but yeah guys like i said it looks like we've set up the second half of season five and i'm excited to see where we go from here so that's gonna do it for me if you enjoyed this video if you could just drop it a like down below leave a comment hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this i'd really appreciate it uh and yeah catch you in the next one peace